Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is my January wrap up. This month was a pretty good reading month for me. I at least started everything that was on my TBR list. Two of the books on my TBR list I started but didn't finish, but I also read two books that weren't on my TBR list so I feel pretty okay with it. I was also pretty happy with the books overall. Everything got a four or five star rating from me this month. I gave six of the books four stars and four of the books five stars. Then I'll just throw out a few statistics about the books. I read five novels, two novellas, two short stories, and one graphic novel. Of these, five were fantasy, two were science fiction, one was a science fiction and fantasy anthology, one was a mystery, and one was a historical fiction. Then lastly is the format that I read the books in. I had three as audiobooks, three on my Kindle, and four in physical copy. The first book that I read was the Tropic of Serpents by Marie Brennan, which is the second book in her Memoirs of Lady Trent series. I really enjoy this series. It's a memoir style, hence the series name. It has a unique world, but that is very um, Victorian style. And the main character is Isabella, and she is a very feminist character, very determined to get her education and pursue her interest in studying dragons. The first book starts back in her childhood and just kind of shows how she grows up and how she starts to develop this love of dragons and learning and then goes into her early adulthood when she meets her husband and goes on her first dragon expedition. This book is her second dragon expedition and it's set in a very different environment of her world than the first book was, which I really liked, just that idea of expanding the universe that these books are set in. I also really like the character Isabella herself. I feel like I identify a lot with her, her love of learning, and I agree with her stances on a lot of things. Um, also, she hates being cold and talks about it all the time, and anyone who knows me knows that I am that person and I can't stand being cold, so I have blankets and sweaters everywhere. Also, why I'm wearing this giant sweater poncho thing. But yeah, so this book was really great. It also explored the friendship between Isabella and one of the other main characters in the series, and that I really liked. I'm really interested in seeing their friendship and their relationship grow, and um, this book also really set the stage for the third book, which is The Voyage of the Basilisk, which I was hoping to read this um, last month, but that was one of the two I didn't finish, so um, I will continue on with that into this month. The next three books that I read were audiobooks and were two short stories, one novella, and all set in Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials universe. And um, these were really good. It was Lyra's Oxford, Once Upon a Time in the North, and The Collectors. Um, the Collectors, I actually got really confused because I thought that it was going to be His Dark Materials, and then when it started um, playing, I it didn't seem like it was at all related, but by the end it, you realize how it is related so that was kind of fun. That one was actually the most different and um, didn't really even feel young adult. That one felt more like just a creepy short mystery horror kind of thing um, which was surprising and kind of nice. The, Lyra's Oxford follows Lyra when she's back at Oxford after the trilogy has finished and just sort of goes on a little adventure with um, her and Pan. And then Once Upon a Time in the North, I really, really liked. It was the story of Lee meeting Yorick, which I was really curious about ever since they met Yorick um, in the trilogy and Lee said how they had known each other before. So I was really glad to be able to see that. And it's when Lee is pretty young. He is just learning how to fly. And I really liked being able to see that history to his character. That was really nice. The next book that I read was Beyond, which is a queer sci-fi and fantasy comic anthology. I got this on an impulse buy, and I'm really glad I did because um, I really liked all the stories. There was really, there's no story in this book that I didn't like. My favorite story in the book was called The Monster Queen, and it was by Savannah Horrocks and April J. Martins. This story actually has um, no dialogue. It's, there's no words, only pictures, but I thought that the illustrations were just really cute, the story was really nice, and definitely provoked a lot of feeling, so this one was definitely my top pick from the book. The next two books on my list I actually did separate reviews for, so I'm not going to talk much about them. The first of these is The Line by J.D. Horn, which is the first book in his Witching Savannah series. Um, it's a kind of urban fantasy, paranormal, little bits of romance in there. Definitely a fun read. I gave it four stars. Then the next book was The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury, which I read for Vintage Sci-Fi Month, and I love this book. I gave it five stars. It's jumped to my favorite sci-fi book now. It was just 
so surprisingly good. I highly recommend it if you have not read that one. And I will link my reviews to both of those books below if you want to hear more of my thoughts. The next two books on my list are both Mary Russell reads. The first was a novella called Mary Russell's War, which is a journal that a young Mary Russell writes starting at the beginning of World War I and going up through basically the first page or two of The Beekeeper's Apprentice, which is the first book in the main Mary Russell series. So I read that one. I really loved it. I loved how it tied in with the first book and just gave more insight to Mary Russell's childhood and it made me get so re-excited about Mary Russell things, especially with the new book coming out soon and the fact that it ended with the beginning of Beekeeper's Apprentice that I ended up just rereading The Beekeeper's Apprentice right afterwards. So um, that was definitely fun. I loved it even more than the last time I read it. Loved the relationship between Holmes and Russell and just seeing it start to develop and seeing Russell um, sort of come into her own as she is becoming his apprentice and going off to Oxford. I almost went right into reading the next book or at least jumping to another one of my favorites, but I'm really trying to stick with my New Year's resolution of not doing that, so I am proud to say that I managed to resist the urge and I will read my next Mary Russell book this month. Then the last book that I completed this month was The Claw of the Conciliator, which is the second book in Jean Wolfe's Book of the New Sun series. I also gave this one five stars. I am really enjoying this series and I'm excited to move on to the third book. The second book definitely gave more insight into um, the world, starting to sort of unravel a little bit more of the mystery around Severian. Um, there were also a couple really good twists that explained a few of the other mysteries in the world and what's happening. I love the writing and just the general feel of the books. I am really curious to see how things continue to go. I also really like that there are appendices at the end of the books that's just like a translator's note, you know, like assuming that these memoirs were written not in our present day English. And at the end of this one, I really just realized that these are written in the future and they're being translated into our present day English, which means that there's time travel happening between the writing of them and the translating of them. That really just kind of clicked with me at the end of this one, um, which maybe I was slow to pick that up, but I am really fascinated by that. And like I said, I'm just really curious to see how this continues. Definitely enjoying these books. So yeah, that's what I managed to read in the month of January. The two books that I started but didn't finish were The Voyage of the Basilisk by Marie Brennan, which I mentioned earlier is the third book in her Memoirs of Lady Trent series, and Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, which is the first book in her Farseer trilogy. But I will talk more about those and the other books that I'm planning to read this month in my February TBR video. So hopefully I will get to that soon and post that later this week. So thanks guys for watching. Please like this if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope everybody is having a good week and I will talk to you later. Bye!